everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm just going to do a simple flip and drag and possible flip drag and lip on it. Um, I'll go over my paints. I have a base coat of the Rust-Oleum Metallics uh, Champagne, but I did add a little bit of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White to it just to um, lighten it up a little bit. And the balance of my paints, they're all metallics today. The first one is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Metallic White Pearl. I do like these Rust-Oleum paints. And the same Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and this is the Sterling Silver. And the same brand again, and this is their Amethyst. I just purchased this one, real pretty purple. And also the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ruby. And my next paint is the DecoArt um, Metallics, and this is the Deep Sapphire. And also I made up another blue paint myself with four different paints, and I will list that in the description. Um, pouring medium today is my usual of um, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirt of Gac 800, and about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. No silicone added today, and I did have to thin my paints just a little bit with the 90% um, the water, 10% Floetrol, excuse me, Floetrol mixture that I use. I've already um, layered my cups, and I will show you that cup. I did mix it up quite a bit. I didn't pour it from the side. I poured it from the top down. So these paints are mixed up pretty well here. So I'm just going to do the flip here now. I have two cups. Oops, that's not a good one. That can happen. I'll just leave that there and hopefully this will be a little better. That's a better one. Okay, I'll just keep this tipped here a little bit. I'll let that paint roll down in the cup there. Give it a minute. So far I am liking the colors I see and I see some cells already. So let's do the flip. And I will drag it through just a little bit here. And I will have plenty of paint. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And now we'll do this one. Just use the whatever's left over in your cup. You can put it on your corners here to help the paint flow and I will give it a torch before I start tilting here Let's see what we bring up if I have any um, negative space today that's fine that's why I put down that nice layer of that champagne mixed with the white and now we can start tipping I think I will just tip down this way. Because that's where most of the paint is needed. And before I tip anymore, I think I'm going to lip this one also. I did not do that, and I think I will. Just to give it a little extra something for the eye to look at. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom of your canvas when you lip. You just skim the top a little bit. And it kind of mixes the paint a little more. Okay, Let's see what we get with that now. Liking it so far. I'm just going to tip back and forth here. I 
we'll get down in this corner. And bring it back. And I am also going to, I see this line here. I think I'll lip, lip it through this line. There we go. Just do something like that. I'm not sure that line will stay there, but we'll just see. Again, I'm just loving it so far. Just going to move the paint around here a little bit. Take some paint off here at the bottom. Maybe tip a little bit here to my left. And bring it back. A lot of interesting things going on here. I'm going to tip a little more down in this corner. And I'm going to bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. See what I have going on here. I'll clean off the bottom here while I'm looking at it and check my corners. Make sure my corners are covered. And I'm sure I've told you before that when you go to call cover your corners, try and pick up the paint that would match your corner, if you can do that, if at all possible. And I do see that that corner needs to be covered over there. Okay, and I think I will give it another torch. It's, I am just loving this painting. It's just beautiful. Okay, I don't really see another area that I want to tip off or tilt. I, I really like the composition. I'm going to check the corners over here again. Okay.
and I think I will get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, here's our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And not a lot of the ruby came through, a little bit of streak right there, a little bit here and there, a little bit of lacing there that's pretty, that purple came up there. And I know it's hard for you to see on camera, but um, this is very, very shiny and sparkly with all the metallics. And a lot of nice lacing here with the blue. That's very pretty right there. And some of the ruby came up here. And I, I really do like the lines that stayed. Like this, these blue and that ruby line there. Very pretty. And let me take you up the middle. You got some cell action here too from that flow trowel. And people have said too, a lot of artists say that um, they think that the metallics also help bring up cells. And I have some there. There's the top middle. And here's that line, and I'm so glad that that did stay. It's very crisp, gives the eye something to look at right away. And the purple and the blues are so pretty together. This is the upper right-hand corner. And I'll take you down here. Again, these colors are all so pretty together. And that, that champagne color with the white that I did add. It's so pretty. And here is the lower the lower right hand corner very pretty in here so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it make sure you ring the bell choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video and subscribe if you haven't that would be great and until next time take care everybody and thank you for watching bye for now